Hi right, guys, this is Noise Too Far. So today we're going to review this menu number six, uh, curry, curry. This is curry and fried rice. So from the zero nine PRA Russian series. So by the time you're watching this, I should be uh, traveling in Japan. So I hope I can take some footage or what kind of thing share back here. And I'll try to get the Japanese ration when I get there. But it's kind of not big chance, but I'll try my best to do so. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. What is this? So, at the back, we can see the ingredients, what it contains inside. So, this is, sorry, it's got very, very hard to make the focus good. Yes, here we go. So, first, we have the curry fried rice, and then the store bowl bread cake, I think, and a beef sausage, also with the widget, and spicy sauce, of course and uh, the radish powder so here is the nutrition fact take a look if you're interested the heat fat heat fat protein and carbohydrate so um this is an instruction just last time what you have to do pour the water in and then fold it and then put it inside 15 minutes so uh this was also manufactured by the same which i rebuilt past before and the date coke is also the same which is 2014 October 22 so after the packaging let's take a look inside and see what it is like can we let's try a new way to open it can we open it like this well we can oh it's kind of, actually kind of easy just like this okay so yeah let's take a look Course, pack with the water bag and uh, well this is spicy sauce oh okay so this is the rose cake if I'm right okay so this one yes the rose cake also with the beef sausage we're going, going to hit this up with the heat pack and see how do we do the taste be better or something like that and here is the sugar water pineapple sweet water pineapple and oops with the beverage powder and of course accessory pack with a tissue and something that i don't know what it is inside the bag it's kind of feels like plastic something uh we'll see later on and a spoon of course. Oh, I see what it is. Now, so uh, you see the package here. It's kind of weird because it goes like this. And uh, what is this? I don't know, but wow. It's, this. Oh, I know. The spoon. Uh, well, give me a second. I go take my previous one, I mean the last the last one to compare with this one. So yeah, let's go back later come back later on. Got the previous one. So let's compare. So it's mostly the same but as you can see it was a bit shortened. Because I will be assuming that when this pack was packing they stamped to side to seal it. But when it's stamping, the spoon goes out in here, and then they stamp on the plastic with heat. So it makes it a bit melt. This is shape of the plastic bag seal. So this is the reason why it happened like this, and it makes it back damage. So I hope it doesn't affect, but I would suggest not to use this tissue. This one is okay, but I have to clean out first. So, I think this basically all of the things are, of course, our individual eating pack yes, with the pack inside. So, I'm not going to open this now because a lot of dirt can be seen. So, but I'll show it later on when we open it up. Okay, so now I got my water, my water bag, and sausage, and the main dish. So, Let's pull it up and put the sausage in. 
and we would put all in and heat it up. So just our last time, pull tab is in this way. Pull tab. Just a little look inside. Uh, you may notice that it would be just like same time. Those white powders is the chemical. So just the last time, not a greatly packed one. But anyway, so let's put the sausage in. Okay, slipped in. So it's time to put. Let's put this thing in here first. To avoid put on my hand. Okay, so let's pour the water in the water bag. Fill line here. Okay. Okay, uh, more table anyway. So, okay, before that, let me take my rock or something first. Ah, there we go, a little rock or something. So, yeah, water just in the fill line going in. Well, of course, that has to be quick. And here we go. You can hear that. It just start boil. So let's put it aside with my rock or something. And let it cook by itself. Okay, so let's just clean the table. Clear now, first done. So, well, let's take a look of the other things such as the side dish, rich powder, and also spicy sauce. Uh, as just like last time, I have prepared uh, my tea bag, but I am trying to look and put it. I'm not quite sure where did I place it, but we'll find out later on. Let's just take a look of these things first. Got a plate here. Okay, water doesn't need now. Just put it aside. And uh, okay, so ah, found my tea bag. This time we're going to reveal this one. Very nicely tea bag. Not advertisement. Just cover it here. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not advertisement. So we'll take a look later later on. So before that. This one is the strawberry cake or biscuit. Because the word, this word can be mean in several things, so I can't really quickly translate it. So, but it's kind of mooncake stuff. Let's open it. Okay, not much excitement because we have reviewed it several times, but. With the heart on it, someone, when he, what one of our friends has uh, makes jokes in it, but yeah, this is a cake with a heart on it, and just put it in and see how it is like. Uh, okay, so put it in two. There was sort of, um, you see, it's a grape, dried grape. And other than that, it's rose and the skin. It's really thick, as you can see. And the texture is pretty moisty, um, pretty thick also. So let's take a try. Well, I have to say it's not much um, or just as expected. Um, grape, dried grape taste, and the best, uh, the cake itself. And uh, to give you a better look, here, this piece and this are the rows. Okay, just put it aside first. Oh, didn't break the heart. Okay, so the next one, well, let's take a look of the Sugar water pineapple. 
Yes, and uh, let's open it and see what it is like. Okay. Okay, this time a lot of water goes out first. Next up, uh, after that, is to plant a pole. Okay. Okay, that's all. Well, okay. To do that, we have to use our spoon. But to use our spoon, we have to clean it first. So let's clean it first and look for it later on. Alright. Alright. Get my spoon clean up. So yeah, let's turn a try on the pineapple. Small one. Okay, it should show it. It's kind of hard to take a look, but it's okay because it will just be the can of pineapple you can buy in the supermarket. So let's take a look. Well, Pretty much the same, um, not quite sweet this time, compared with the uh, normal canned pineapple. But uh, yeah, it's just canned fruit, and that's it, honestly. So after that, then these two, let's also take a look on the beverage powder. Okay, so should probably be the same as last time, I guess. But in any way, prepared cups of water. Put it. Okay, so put up here. Just pull that up. Okay. Uh, right. Color same. Smell same. Taste. I guess probably also the same. Okay. Good stir. Cheers. Well, just like last time, but uh, this time flavor a bit improved, uh, but a strong of strong alignment taste. Um, well, average, I would say average. So let's take a look of the tea bag that we have. I told you earlier. This one is lychee with rose and almond. Well, not quite sure you know about lychee. Lychee is actually a kind of fruit that we eat in China. Uh, pretty sweet, a small one. Um, well, yes, yeah, it's a small one. Um, tastes really uh, sweet and. Uh, yeah, pretty good. I'm not sure. You have to try if you have, can try it. So this is lychee with rose and almonds, which they say is a black tea with flavors. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. Open it up, smell it, and uh, try it. Okay, so here's the tea bag. A cup here first. My little bear cup. Hmm. Wait a second. Mmm, pretty mm, strong flavor of lychee, which is really sweet one and a bit not really a rose smell, but well, not quite sure what it's like. So just put it in and use some hot water and make it up and see what it is like. Get my hot waters. Okay. Yeah, this should be the one. All right, get deep. Cheers. Hmm. Well, have to say that's the taste, the lychee and rose. The taste of them are actually not quite strong. They are just limit in the smell part 
but it smells so good after you can make put the water in the smell is become even stronger oh my god yeah so the smell even becomes stronger but taste it when you drink it it's all still uh the black tea so um no well, yeah so that's it let's just wait till the bag i mean the main dish is ready and we'll come back later on and take a look at it Okay, so gotta pack it up. It's taking a long while, but should that's like in here. All chemicals have been used and f f activate. So okay. Oh, really hot and wet. Let's take a look. Sorry. What do you like now? Okay, can't really see it. That's okay. So let's just let me clean it up. All right. So now got them clean up. Curry fried rice. Oh, really hot. Well, let's see what do we have inside. Curry fried rice with uh, rice, chicken, and veget oil. Uh, this is potato. Potato. Carrot. Uh, this is the one. Uh, in, I don't know what is English, but. Yeah, try to subtitle it. And um, onion, curry powder, and yeah, and some thing for the seasoning. And so, and it's of course the sausage, hot and pretty soft now. So let's take a try of both of them. Let's do, begin with this one, beef sausage. Okay. Right. So we got three here. And leave the sauce with the rice. Okay. So mmm. Well I can smell it. A strong flavour of the beef sausage. So let's take a try of the first one. Before that, let's take a look. Mmm, kind of hot. Okay, try my best to do so. Yes, here we go. Like a sausage one. Let's do a try. Hmm. Hmm. So it's actually pretty soft. It tastes much better when you have it in warm. Okay. If you have time to try this, suggest you definitely have to uh, boil it with the main dish. So let's take a look at the main dish. Okay. There we go. Full tap. Mmm. Yellow this time. Then we'll see this color in the pack. Okay, much more yellow. It was like gold. <laughs> okay, so let's pull it out. Okay. Just like usual uh, PI rations, as you may see and uh, notice that the what did I mention those uh well other than rice, those um carrots tomatoes or chicken are in the bottom areas because I fold like this so this is the bottom area so uh, interesting things to be noticed and well let's take I think this time we don't need to put the soy sauce spicy sauce inside because there should be enough flavor rather than the last few times so but let's find out for now let's take a look and see what it is like okay so uh here's the chicken take a look of the chicken you may have a close look of it and uh, one thing to mention is that uh you can see or you may if you watch several videos that i made pla ration series the rice are pretty much sticky Compared with the Japanese rations, they are sticky, much more sticky in one piece. So I don't know why, but maybe this 
their style. So this is chicken. Let's do a trial chicken. Mmm. Mm. Well, it tastes a bit overcooked, but pretty strong flavor of the curry. Also, uh, I don't think I need the Swahili sauce this time, so I will leave it for a while. And uh, well, let's take a look the rice and other things. Hmm. 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 This is a good menu, I have to say. Really strong flavor of curry and salt enough that you have to add any spicy sauce inside. So I would suggest this menu if you are going to try the PR ration. This is a good menu so far after the six series, after the six menu from the uh, PR ration. So this time, what we will review is the menu number six from the zero nine PLA resin series, the curry fire rice. Highly recommend it if you are going to try the uh, PLA ration. Try this one, and uh, yeah, I love this one. Seriously, so um, so I think this is it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like if you did, and subscribe will help me a lot. And I'm no too far. Um, try to bring something good from Japan. So I'm no too far, and I will see you next time. Cheers.